Hello everyone, welcome back to another theatre vlog. Tonight I'm going to see Dick Whittington at the Palladium and I'm in quite a rush. So I'm leaving the flat now, I'm just waiting for the lift. Off to the theatre. This is the interval of Dick Whittington and oh my gosh, I've seen a lot of pantos in my life, like just as an audience member and also as an usher. This is definitely like the best pantomime I've ever seen. I mean, obviously it's at the London Palladium, so it's gonna be like high budget. It's, it's definitely the highest budget pantomime I've ever seen. And it's incredible, like the sets, the costumes, and obviously the performances are like, I feel like this is catered way more for adults than it is kids, which I know for most pantomimes they are. By the way, I know there's going to be some people that aren't British watching me. A pantomime is a show that we have on at Christmas time and it's basically like um, very classical stories like obviously tonight I'm at Dick Whittington. Normally you get like Peter Pan, Cinderella, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, um, Beauty and the Beast. Um, loads there's loads of different like classical either like disney stories like even aladdin's been a pantomime as well and um and it's just ridiculous there's loads of like jokes and like references to like current um things in life so obviously because this is a london one uh, there's a lot of london jokes and references and there's some political jokes as well oh my god one that had me dying with laughter was if Donald Trump and Theresa May were trapped on a desert island, who would survive? And the answer was like, all of us. Neither of them, but the rest of us, and I died laughing. Like, it was so funny. There's been an homage, I think that's the right word, to Half a Sixpence as well, because Charlie Stemp and Emma Williams are in this show, and obviously they were like the main performers, main cast members in um, Half a Sixpence. So it was flashbang wallop, but relevant to the situation oh my god it's just so good i need to try and find a cast board or have a look at the program because i'm in the upper circle which the view is fine i've got a safety rail in front of me but apart from that it's fine it's just the leg room like my knee is dead but i need to see if there's anyone else i recognize in the cast because it's quite hard to tell from up there but it is amazing so far like I remember when I looked at the prices, I picked the restricted view seat because it was cheaper, um, because everything else was quite expensive. Obviously, it's a panto at the Palladium, um, but it's so it, it's so worth it. Like it's hilarious. Dick Whittington just finished, just leaving the theatre now. It's definitely without a doubt the best pantomime I've ever seen. Like, so, so good. It's raining, which is always, always nice. Um, I just went to the stage door. I know I never normally stage door, but I just thought, why not? I may as well. It's quite a big crowd there, actually. I think because it's like, I don't know, that sort of family crowd. 
somehow they they know about stage door and they want to do that so that was nice um quickly saw charlie because i've never really properly met him even though obviously i went to that half sixpence event it wasn't like a meet and greet as such it was really nice to properly meet him and i mentioned about the fact that i've got tickets to see him in his first week in hello dolly and they mentioned that in the show about him going into hello dolly which was really nice i loved i loved this show it was so good obviously i'll speak in full about it when i am uh, back home charlie is just the nicest guy and like i'm so glad that all this is happening to him it's great hello everyone and welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog as you saw i went to see dick whittington at the london palladium as far as i'm aware I've never been to a panto at the London Palladium and it was very exciting to finally tick that off my list because obviously it's the Palladium, it's exciting, it's a beautiful theatre and I've heard that their pantos are obviously amazing so to be able to finally do that that was awesome. The main reason that I wanted to see Dick Whittington was because of the casting of Charlie Stemp and Emma Williams, who I recently saw both of them in Half a Sixpence, and I think they are just brilliant, and I really wanted to see them, and I knew that this was going to be an exciting panto, so I booked myself a uh, cheap ticket, <laughs> the cheapest I think they had, and I booked this a little while back. I didn't leave it. I think I booked it kind of as soon as not maybe not as soon as they went on sale, but fairly soon after. I knew it was going to be a restricted view seat due to the safety rail, but I didn't realize just how bad the leg room was gonna be. It was tight, so if you're looking to buy the first row of the upper circle, just beware. If you are quite tall, it'll be quite painful. Saying that though, it definitely didn't put a spoiler on my enjoyment of the show. I laughed so, so much. Genuinely, at times, it felt like this panto was written more for the adults than for the kids. I wasn't complaining. However, it was jokes that obviously go straight over most children's heads and that makes it even funnier as well. I know I briefly mentioned this earlier on in the vlog, but I just thought I'd reiterate in case it wasn't very clear. Pantomimes are productions that are put on at Christmas time. They don't just happen at the Palladium, but they happen up and down the country. And it's a very British thing. We take classical stories and we put them in quite a, quite a simplified fashion. And there's lots of like audience participation. So if you ever hear someone saying like, he's behind you, like that's a panto thing. Um, the audience is very much encouraged to get involved because pantos are focused on like the families getting together and coming to see a show together, which is really nice. Obviously with a production being at the London Palladium, you can expect it's going to be quite a bit bigger than a normal pantomime. I've seen loads of pantomimes and this has to be the best one that I've seen. In terms of the production value, so the sets, the costumes, oh my gosh, some of the sets and like the things that they used, it was incredible. I don't want to spoil anything, but there were just some moments in the show where I was literally like, wow, that is amazing. Um, they had like bits coming out kind of just over the orchestra pit as if they were coming towards the audience. I'm not gonna say too much, but it was exciting. It's definitely like worth the ticket price. As I mentioned, I went to see this mainly because I wanted to see Charlie and Emma. However, the cast was so star studded, it was unbelievable. So we had Elaine Page as Queen Rat. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever seen Elaine Page in something and what a first thing to see her in. <laughs> Julian Clary was playing Spirit of the Bells. They also had Ashley Banjo and Diversity. Um, if you are not British, you might not have a clue who Diversity are, but they are a dance group that I think were on Britain's Got Talent. And I remember watching them and thinking like, they're really good. So it was very nice to see them again. Their dancing is incredible. We also had Nigel Havers and Paul, I'm gonna say his surname wrong, Zerdin, Zerdin, Zerdin. And also Gary Wilmot. So there were so many faces that even though I'd forgotten they were gonna be in this show, I immediately recognized. So that was really great. And they were all brilliant. Like this was such a good, funny, brilliant pantomime. I think with pantos, I think some people, I've seen some comments there, kind of taking it a little bit too seriously. Like the whole point of panto is that it is ridiculous and that it is fun 
And I, I literally put on Twitter after the show, if I, if I took a shot for every dick joke made, because obviously Dick Whittington, I would have been rat assed because yes, there were a lot of dick jokes, but they were funny. I maybe I'm just immature and childish, but I was laughing my head off at pretty much every single one of them. And I love that there was all these little references, like as I mentioned earlier, there was a f like flashbang wallop, but modified for the panto. Flashbang wallop is from half a sixpence, so obviously that nods to Charlie and Emma. Uh, they also mentioned at one point about Charlie going into Hello Dolly and Elaine Page obviously had a lot of material to work with in terms of her theatre history being modded for this show. It was just, it was so good because you could go in as someone who's not really stagey and sure you might not get that stuff as much but it's not going to hinder your enjoyment of the show or your understanding of it but for those of us who are stagey it just kind of amplified the enjoyment and the little references and things like that it made you feel like like they were catering for you in a sense as i'm sure you can tell i really had a fantastic time seeing dick whittington at the palladium i think it would be an amazing like treat and experience for a family to pop down into london for the day and see it but also just adults. I mean, I literally went on my own and I had an amazing time. And the guy that was next to me, he was there on his own as well. We were all just laughing so much. And also as well, I had a really nice couple of ladies sat next to me and we were chatting at some points and that was really nice. So I didn't feel stupid for going on my own. I don't think there's anything wrong with going to a pantomime on your own um, because they're just good fun and you have to participate anyway. So if you've already managed to see Dick Whittington at the London Palladium. I would love to know your thoughts on the show and if you had a good time. It's running until the 14th of January so still a few more weeks to see it and I'd highly recommend you do so. It was just such a fun night and you know how you feel just all like all relaxed and joyful after seeing a really funny production. Well that's how I felt and I don't think there's anything wrong with feeling like that. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. There's always lots of theatre content and I'm currently doing Vlogmas, which means there's a video every day up until Christmas. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.